Hi everyone, this is Rihanna from A Frugal Life, and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different today. So as you can see, I'm not in my normal place to um, actually film, and I don't have my regular camera today, so I'm doing a streaming video from my computer. So we are doing a little bit of remodeling in our house, some DIY ourselves, knocking down some walls and things, and that means that my photography studio and everything else has moved into my regular office, and it means that I cannot film in my normal place. So instead, we are going to do a screen share video. So it's going to be a quick tutorial on Canva. C-A-N-V-A is the software we're going to use. I will put a link down below. Please use the link down below if you do sign up for it because I do get some credits there to get some free pictures for Canva. I do not get anything else. I do not make any money on it at all. So this is not a paid advertisement. It's just a tool that I use. I actually pay for the pro version because I use it so much. But you can 100% do this whole thing for free. So stay on with me. I'm going to switch over to Canva. I'm going to show you how to make a beautiful meal planning sheet that you can fill in your meal plan for the week. You can use it for shopping or whatever you want. I'm going to show you both how to make a printable version and then I'm also going to show you how to save that and download it so you can keep it on your phone. You can use it as your phone wallpaper or you can use it as a picture on your phone just so you can always pull it up for reference when you're grocery shopping or when you're talking to kids or your husband or whoever about what you're having that week. You can also do something where you save it to your computer and save it as your desktop back background for easy reference. You can basically do whatever you want with the file once you've made it. And it, again, it's 100% free. So how frugal is that? So stay tuned. It'll take me one second to flip over. So first you're going to go to the Canva link I'm going to have in my description. And I'm going to show you now what to do next. So you've gone to that Canva link. You've signed up. If you're already signed up, you're logged in. And we're going to make a really cool meal planner. So the first thing we're going to do is go up to the search box and just type in weekly meal planner. So people do this in different ways. Some people just do five days, Monday through Friday. Some people do seven days with a shopping list. So the nice thing about Canva is you're not going to have to do the one that I pick. You're going to go through all of these different templates, maybe get your kids to help you with it and make it really fun. And you're going to be able to grab the one that you want to use. So I'm just going to go through here. I like to use a seven day meal planner and I like to use breakfast, lunch and dinner. But you can see here that you can actually do all sorts of different types. You can do ones that are just dinner. You can do ones that are breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You can do like this Mary Jane's meal planner over here on the left. Um, you could leave blank and then you could just fill it in or have the kids fill it in or put in voting um, on voting uh, or put in different meals and vote on which ones you want. You can do anything you want. So scroll down here and look for the meal planner that you want. So I am actually going to use this meal planner right here with the watermelons and it's going to pull up your template and it's already going to be partially filled in. So the nice thing about it is you do not have to use these colors. Um, so I'm actually going to switch. So I'm going to show you how to switch here. So I do have a recently used one over here that I like better. So I'm going to click over here on the left. So on the left it will have recently ones used ones. It'll have ones that it, it recommends just for you based on things that you've chosen in the past and different categories. So all I have to do is click on this one I want to change to and I've changed to this one. So when you do this, you could do something like this, which is an actual menu, but then if you do print it out, then you're going to use a lot of ink. So this one I'm going to print out. If I was just using it on my phone screen, maybe I would use a different colored one. So I'm going to use one that has a lot of white instead, and that way I don't have to use a lot of different inks. And then if I wanted to click on the different colors and change them, for instance, if I click on Sunday, up here at the top where the little letter is, I can click on the color and I could change it to black. So if I want to use even less ink, be a little bit more frugal, I could charge, change everything to black and gray and white. Um, and it will use less ink, obviously, than using the colored ink. But I don't mind using my colored ink for this today, just so I can show you the different options. On the left, you'll see that I have the pro version, so I have a bunch of different saved palettes here. This is amazing. If you want to know how to do this, just let me know. Um, it has default colors here, or you can just look for your color. So let's say I want to do orange. And I can choose my orange. And now it's going to save that orange as well up on the top that I've used. That way when I come in here and click on Monday, 
I can click on this and I can change it to that same orange. So it's showing me all the colors that are already in the document. So I'm just going to go through, click on all of these days and change them to orange just because I want to do a summer theme here. And then I can choose these and ship, switch them to a different color. So I could switch it to black, but it's going to look a little bit Halloween-y. Um, I could switch it to yellow, but it's going to be a little bit light, blue, whatever I want. So I'll just leave these the blue that they are. So if I want to leave it the blue that it is, I can go up to this undo button up here and click undo, 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 undo until it's back to the right color. So the other thing you can do is you can click on the graphics. So this one particularly has this little postage type stamp graphic on the bottom and the top if i click on it it'll show the different colors so i can just go ahead and click it'll change all of those blues to the blue that i want it'll change all of these to the pink that i want and i'm actually changing this to my brand colors um, these are my host uh, my a frugal life brand colors now i've changed everything to my a frugal life brand colors if you see that i forgot wednesday i can just click on it and change it to the orange and then now we're going to change it to make it personalized. And this is so easy. You can have your kids do it. You can do it instead of Allison's weekly meal plan. I'm going to do the a frugal life plan. Or since it's actually my personal meal planner, I can do the Jones family meal plan. And then down here at the bottom, I can put the date or I can put anything I want here. I'm just going to put August 2021 week one and then as you see it's pretty small even if I print it out it's going to be pretty small so now we're going to change the font size so come up to the top here and I just click the plus button or I could have put the number in here and then I can also change the font as you see on the left it brings up all of my different fonts and I can change the font to make it a little bit more um, accessible to actually see from far away so now I can do a few things here. I can go ahead and click on each one and change it to what we're going to have for breakfast, um, pancakes maybe, and then lunch, and then dinner, and then even snacks. Or I could take this whole thing out and just put in the dinner one if I wanted to do that. Let's take this out and show you what it looks like if we do it from scratch. So I took out Sunday. If I don't want a lot of extra words in there, I can just go ahead and click on text on the left. I'm going to click on add a little bit of body text and then click on the place I want to add the text. And as you can see, it dragged over this. So I'm going to drag it over to the right side. I'm going to up the font by a lot so I can actually see it. Scroll it. And if you scroll it back and forth, you see these guidelines here. It'll show you how to center it. I love that. And now it says add a little body text. So let's say Sunday I was just doing the dinner menu and I'd put um, chicken tacos. And it looks like it's printing in white. So that's funny. So I'm going to click on it and I'll change the color to the color that's in my um, brand kit. But I can also do something else. So as you can see, you're going to make up your own personal meal plan. Let's do one more of a different type. If you wanted to do something else, let's go back up to templates on the left hand side and show you what it looks like if we did a weekly menu planner for the five days a week. I'm going to show you how to insert graphics now. So we're going to come down here and do a more streamlined weekly meal planner. So we'll do this one, replace current page. As you can see, it's replaced this current page completely. I'm going to do one like I was going to print this out and then write it in. But you could also just clue a little bit of text, add it in there, and then change the text in here to say chicken tacos or whatever you want. Um, so I'm going to change it to Rihanna's weekly men meal menu, meal planner, whatever you want to be here. I could change these colors here on the graphics that are already here. Or I could delete the graphics. And let's say you're letting the kids make this meal planner. So they're going to come in here to elements on the left hand side and they can choose whatever they want. So I was doing a, a project with dogs before. So I looked at dogs 
So they can get graphics of dogs, photos of dogs, and you can streamline it down. So for something like this that you might print out or leave, we'll say this is one going to be one for your phone screen. We'll change it to graphics. It's going to change it to just cartoon type graphics. The kids can just pick the one that they want and drag it over here. So you can see that this graphic said pro. That means if you're not paying for the full pro package, you can't use this one. And you have to use one of the ones that says free. So I'm going to choose free although I am on the pro package so I could use it. And I'm gonna put the little doggy up here. As you can see, I just grabbed the corners here and I can make him bigger or smaller until he fits. And then I'm gonna add, as you see, it ticks the doggy that you chose and gives you some magic recommendations over here on the left-hand side of doggies that match. So I'm gonna grab this little doggy and pull him over to the side and then just shrink him down here. And now I have a little doggy. And then I'm going to take the background and I'm going to change the colors to something else. Um, I can change this one to something else. I can change this one to white. And it makes just a little different. And so you can also drag the graphics around. You can change the fonts for um, different things. So you see I just changed Monday. I don't like it. So I'll click back, back, and now it's back. So as you can see, you can do a lot of different things with these meal planners really easily. It's super fast. And now let me show you how you save them. So up here at the top, there's this little down arrow. That means we're going to download it. First, I'm going to click in this box up here and name it. So this is August Greek One Meal Planner. And that'll save it to my designs in Canva. So if I want to come back and use the same template next week, I could use the same template and just change the colors and the graphics. So now I'm going to click the down arrow. So if I wanted to print one that I was going to save, um, pr print out and then put on my refrigerator, all I have to do is choose the PDF document and click download. And now it's going to download to my computer. As you can see down here on the right hand side, it's downloading. I'm going to wait until it downloads and then I'm going to show you what it looks like. There we go. So it popped up as a PDF, this beautiful PDF. Now all I have to do is go up here on the right hand side and click print. And then I can put that on my fridge after I use a marker and fill in the um, different meals that we're going to have for the week. Or as you could see, we could have used that text, put a little bit of text and typed in the meals if you don't have great handwriting or if you like it typed. So I'm going to close this out and show you how to do it on different locations. So if I don't have a printer, a lot of people don't nowadays, I can save this to my desktop. So I'm going to go ahead and change this. So I clicked download. I'm going to change this to high quality PDF image and click download. Now I'm going to wait for that image to download. You can see it's a PNG. Over here on the left hand side, I'm going to open that up and then right click on it, save as and I can save it to whatever folder I want. This is actually already saved to my download folder. So if I wanted to, I could just leave it there. And then I can use it as the backdrop for my computer. You can also take that PNG that you have right there. And then you can save it to your phone. So I saved a PNG. If I click, I kind of like JPG for phones. So I could, I could change the size so it's smaller for a phone, whatever I want to do. And then change to a JPG and download it. And then in order to save to my phone, I usually upload it to Facebook. Um, that way the picture is on my phone easily. And then I just save it from Facebook to my phone and put it as the background to my phone. So then you have it as the background to your phone. Whenever you're going shopping or whatever, you can just look at the background to your phone and see. Or you can save it as a picture in your gallery and then you have it on your phone. Whatever you want to do, you can put it in your printable digital journal. You can print it out and put it in a happy planner. You can do whatever you want and you've created it for free. So forget about paying $4.99 or $3.99 or whatever you pay, even $0.99 cents on Etsy for printable meal planners because you can make them 100% for free on Canva. So there you go. That's it. This is my video on how to make a meal planner on Canva for free. Again, you don't have to pay for them. If you like videos like this on personal finance, side hustles, and living your best life on less money, be sure and hit that subscribe button down below and bang on that notification bell so it notifies you when I have another 
another video. I'm happy to do tutorials like this anytime. If you want a tutorial on how to make anything else that you've seen on Etsy or anywhere else that you would like to make for yourself for free instead of having to pay for it, I'm happy to do those tutorials for you. And as always, if no one has told you how very special you are today, you are so special to me. I mean that from the bottom of my heart. I love you all. You're all my friends and family on the internet, and I cannot wait to talk to you in my next video.